Hi everyone, so today I have gone for a maths activity. Now, I have got some pieces of paper in here which have got numbers on, as you can see. They're just little scraps of paper and all I've done is crumple them up and then put them into this tub. Oh, push them. And then I've put some sellotape around it because obviously I've been talking about how we need to really work on those uh, fine motor skills for the children, especially for come September when they're going to be expected to pick up the pencil again and start doing some work. And I'm sure they're going to want to show off all their fabulous skills to their new teachers. So we need to make sure that they are confident with their motor skills. And that typically depends on the strength within their fingers. So I've created like a spider's web. You can obviously make it trickier, but this tub is surprisingly small. I knew I bought a small tub, but doing activities in it is not easy. So for this activity, what I want them to do is use Tommy Thumb, and Peter Pointer, and they have to try and get a piece of paper out without touching the tape. So I'm just going to try and look over the top because it's, oh, can't use any of the fingers and they've got to try and get it out. Then see if they can unravel it. Try and get them to do it with one hand if they can because it's actually surprisingly difficult. What am I doing here? It's really hard to look through a camera to try and see what you're doing surprisingly right okay i've got a number i have got a number so i've got number what's that number can you shout it out what's that number i've got number seven now obviously that is tricky to get your fingers in but let's make it a little bit more tricky we could do some adding and we can also do some taking away so i'm going to do another one down here so seven take away i mean we can only take it away if the number is going to be smaller if it's going to be bigger we can't really take it away. Not at this point anyway. Um, so let's try and go in again. Oh, I can see a little piece there. And again, we're going to unravel it. Oh, what's that number? It's a two, so we can take this one away as well. So we've got seven add two and seven take away two. Don't forget your equal sign because that's the way we find our answer. Now, you could use objects to find out your answer if you'd like to, or another way of doing it is to draw it out. So we've got seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to add two more. So draw two and then count them all up. How many have we got? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cause remember, we're doing it all together, so we have to count all the spots. So seven add two would equal nine. How do we do the takeaway? So we'll draw out seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then because we want to take away two, just cross two out. Cross it out, cross it out. How many are you left with? One, two, three, four, five. And then write your answer there. And we've still got loads in there, so you can keep going with it. And pull out as many as you can and then record them to get yourself a little bit of challenge and have fun with it. We will see you tomorrow for another activity. Bye.